uh, Sugita. <laughs> you have uh, uh, spoke some of my message this morning. Yeah, yeah, but you, how did you know that I'm going to speak on? <laughs> yeah, you've uh, covered some of my topics, my subject. Uh, praise the Lord. Congratulations, Sugita. Well, so really well done. Praise God, yeah? All glory to God. Yes, and our family, family, all family here. Yes, yeah. And we, we, we rejoice with you, you know? Yeah, we rejoice yeah. with you. Whenever we hear something good is happening to you, please share with us. We, we rejoice, yeah? And now we, we want to share the good news, right? And to glorify God. Amen? Yeah. And this morning, um, yeah. If I can't finish my message, I'll continue next Sunday. <laughs> but anyway, it's a good thing, yeah? It's a good thing. So uh, testimony is always good. As, uh, I always believe that it should be a part of the service, uh, Sunday service every yeah, Sunday. Right. Yeah. And uh, welcome, welcome again. And uh, Well, this morning, my message is greater faith through trials and challenges. Hmm? It sounds very familiar to all of us, right? Yeah? Every one of us goes through yeah, trials and challenges in our life. Am I right to say that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, every one of us, we, none is spared, none, <laughs> you know, we do go through. And so, as long as you are born into this world, you will have tribulation. Yeah. Good news, huh? <laughs> anyway, um, John 16, 33. Shall we look at this verse? Yeah, the word of God will always give us the good news. Amen? Yeah. Um, let's, yes, you can, yeah. Let's read. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. Uh, in King James Version, is tribulation. So, yeah, this is NIV, yeah? But the heart, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord has already gone there. The Lord has overcome it, and so shall we be. Amen? Yes? So, let's say when the baby enters into the world, yeah, what happened? The first thing, he cries, right? The baby enters once, enter, he enters into the world, he cries, he gives you a loud cry or maybe some he wouldn't, not, not, you didn't hear anything. So that shows that that is his first struggle, right? The baby's first struggle. You came into the world, you know, oh, you know it's like you, you, <laughs> you, you're going to give a, you know, a cry and uh, it's just because, you know, it's, it's not something so comfortable. It is a rea reality of the world, yeah? And um, so there was a struggle. And if the baby doesn't cry, what happened? The doctor will give a whack on his cute little bottom, yeah? <laughs> and that will, will surely make him cry, right? Yeah? So that is uh, what is happening, yeah? In the beginning of life, tears pain oh no <laughs> yeah but this is reality but uh, anyway i have good news for you yeah stay on yeah i have good news for you so um you know talking about babies i we have shirley shirley where are you shirley ah shirley <laughs> shirley well she was she was she's a retired midwife yeah 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 she has wow i think deliver so many babies uh, how many are countless <laughs> yes yeah yeah, so she knows exactly what goes on, yeah? And, um, yes, and, and I want to share this. A Christian mother gave birth to a lifeless baby. This is what I was told, yeah? Gave birth to a lifeless baby, and actually the baby had turned blue. So what did she do? She cried out to God, Save my baby. Save my baby. I would, you know, when he lived, if he live, you know, you, you give him back to me, I will dedicate, oh, she's a girl, I will dedicate her back to you. So that was her, her promise. They said, you save her, my baby, that she live, I will dedicate her to you. And so what happened? She lived. She came back to life. And uh, that was a real miracle. She came back to life. And uh, the, mom, the mom 
kept her word. And uh, she is now an uh, anointed worship leader in the church. And uh, so is this a uh, uh, very popular singer, a uh, worship leader, Carrie Job. Who knows Carrie Job? Yeah. Yes, Carrie Job. I love her songs. I do. You know, she's so sweet. You know, she, she and she's so full of the Lord, the Spirit, mm -hmm. and I really love her songs. So she, um, and she also was a miracle baby. Yeah, and uh, how? Uh, it, but it's not so much on her. It was on the mother this time. The mother was going through a lot of very critical health issues and uh, she could maybe born having some abnormalities. Yeah, they, don't, they won't know what's going to happen to the baby. So, but uh, she was born, the moment she was born, they quickly check all her fingers, her toes and every part of her and they just give glory to God that she was perfect. In fact, she's very pretty, yeah? She's a very pretty girl, yeah, very sweet, very sweet. So, praise God, you see? And, um, sorry. Hmm. So then, um, talking about baby, and uh, she, her songs also goes around all over the world, yeah? Because of her, you know, God has used her mightily in the worship. Very anointed worship leader. Uh, yeah, so, um, and now, uh, also, what about myself, me and Eugene? We also have gone through a very traumatic, traumatic birth, you know, at that time when uh, Eugene was born. When I say traumatic, I briefly knew what death was about. <laughs> that was that traumatic. I think um, I had uh, this uh, heart, what do you call it? Arrest, arrest, yeah, had arrest for 10 to 15 seconds. Thank God it was no more than that. Yeah. So it was God's intervention. We lived. We lived <laughs> to, to serve him and to give him the glory. And likewise, I told God uh, when I was, my heart has stopped. So I said, God, you saved my baby. You saved me. I want to see my baby alive. I want to see him. And I, I, I'm dedicating him to you and to serve you. That was my promise. I my word. So God is so great. God is so great. And I know that sometimes we don't understand, right? When we go through trials, we go through challenges, tribulations, all this one, we, we, at that moment we, we don't understand. It's something strange, something what has come upon us, something out of control, something, what, what is happening? But let me just continue here. Yeah? And I will say that you will, your experience will be from tragedy to triumph. Amen? Yeah. From tragedy to triumph. God wants you to triumph in every way. He will, you will have the victory because God says, I, you will be the, my, my overcomer. Yeah? yeah? And because he has, first of all, overcome the world and so will you. He you will be the overcomer as well. So, yes, praise the Lord. So this is one of my, that was one of my many tribulations, okay? My many tribulations in my life. And so I believe I'm quite fit to talk about this subject, this message out of my experience, which I know what is pain. I know what is pain, true and true. From the beginning of my life, I've already tasted it. And now. Uh, so for, so I know what I'm saying, and today's message, it is not to bring you any discouragement, no, rather to encourage you, is with the word of God, the word of God will give you the fresh hope, fresh hope to realize of your destiny and your purpose of what God has for you, yeah? So as I was seeking God for the message, as usual, I will just, uh, God, what do you want me to speak? And uh, then I realized that he's showing me faith, faith. Faith connecting with our trials and challenges. So there we are. And we know that it is never easy, right? When we go through it, we can either be 
Better or bitter? Amen. Yes, yeah. Better or bitter? That's what the saying goes, right? Yeah. If life throws you lemon, what do you do? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you make a lemonade. You make a lemon juice out of it. <laughs> yes, that should be the attitude. Yeah, yeah. Life throws us lemon. What do we do? Mm, squeeze it, turn into a, a, a good lemonade for us to enjoy. <laughs> Amen. Wow. <laughs> so right. So every one of us, we we have to carry our own burden. Yeah, right. We have to walk the path. Um, by ourselves, you know the path. When I say about the the troubled times when it comes, no one can walk for you on that path. Do you realize no one can walk for you? Not your own parents, not your dad, not your mom, not your husband, not your wife. No one. Your closest, you know, can even take, say that I walk for you. No, not possible. We have to walk that path. And we know that um, it is very lonely, a very difficult, hard path to walk in when you are in that situation. And I've been through it many times. Yeah. And the more I went through, I discovered a secret. All right. And I'm sharing with you. I discovered the reason for it. First of all, why do we need to go through it? Why? The first thing is, of course, we ask why. Yeah. Why do we need to go through it? And how to come out of it? Fast. Yeah. So, do you know the correct question to ask God when you are in it? What is the correct question you should ask God? It's uh, definitely it's not complaining, lah. Huh? God, what are you doing to me? You know, why is this thing happening to me? You know, all me, 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 me. Yeah. Wow, that is actually not. No, no. You don't. You know, uh, and. Uh, what it's saying is that the first thing, the right thing to do is, how do we know the correct to ask God? I mean, the correct question to ask God um, is, what do you want me to learn from it? God, what are you teaching me out of this situation? Of course, it is for change. It is always for change because if something happens, it is for change. And and if we remain stiff neck, stiff neck, you know, is stubborn, yeah, stubborn, refuse to, you know, to submit, unwilling to change, yeah. We still want to live the way we used to. Then I'm so sorry, you, <laughs> you might have to go to more intense trials. Yeah. I'm speaking our experience, yeah? Yeah. my life experience is like that. I was not so obedient, right? Okay, I'm not that good, good, goody, goody, goody. Yeah? And uh, so I learned a hard way as well. I learned a hard way. I made many mistakes. I fell. I mean, there was, uh, you know, uh, before I knew the Lord and after that I knew the Lord. I mean, there was like, hard means that in, you know, with it, the difficulties that I personally have, you know, and uh, so I was uh, going through. So, um, So if we were to remain as we are, uh, we might have to go through more intense trials. And uh, so therefore, uh, it's just like the Israelites, yeah? In the 40, 40 years in the wilderness, mm? yeah? The Israelites, uh, where Moses was leading them in the wilderness. So it's what? Due to disobedience and due to their unbelief. And uh, actually the journey takes how long? It's only 11 days. Ooh, 11 days and turn into 40 oh, years. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> it is really, yeah. <sighs> yeah. It can't comprehend, yeah. Uh, why is it happening? Why? It's just, I think we are just being human. Human is like that. You know, when you are, you know, when you, you have problem, you, you are in your... You know, when you have need, you have difficulty, you come to God, 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 help me, help me. And then when God help you, then uh, 
he tends to forget what God has done. Yeah. So this is very human, all right? Human side of it. And uh, so that was what happening. Yeah. And that's why the, yeah, some they actually perish in the wilderness, and because of their, they were really those are really stubborn, stubborn ones. <laughs> they just refuse to do anything what God has told them. They just or, or you know, and uh, so they, in another word. Uh, they just ref refuse God, huh? and so therefore, um, yeah, I will say that yeah, because of that, I mean, what do you choose? Eleven days or forty years? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, yes, yes, and I believe that it won't take you. All of you are good. You don't have to go through all those, uh, you know, great tribulation and uh, all that sort of thing. Yes. And we knew in the Bible, in the Bible, we have some great men of God who went through great trials, right? Yeah. Uh, let us look at Joseph. Well, number one, Joseph. I always like the story of Joseph. Is it? Didn't he went through many trials, Joseph? You have a Joseph here? <laughs> Another Joseph? Yeah. He, he suffered worse. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying that he suffered most. <laughs> he suffered more than him. Okay, yes, yeah, sure. So what what um, what did he became at the end of it? What did he became after he went through all the suffering and uh, what God has to put him through? Uh, because uh, you know he he is always a reason, yeah, always a reason, a purpose when God is doing a work in us. Always for a good purpose and a good reason. And uh, so he became, at the end of it, he became a governor, a ruler of Egypt, ruling as in, the, in the courts of the Pharaoh, yeah? serving in the courts of Pharaoh. He was the second man of Egypt. Wow, wow, wow. Now it's like, what favor? Who? After what he has gone through, it's, you know, <laughs> that is really, really you know, painful. Yeah? It wasn't easy. Not at all. It was, uh, yeah, so tough. But in the end, at the end, at the end. Always look to the end, yeah? Uh, what happened at the end? So Joseph says, Joseph served his God-ordained purpose and uh, destiny for him, yeah? Yeah? And, yes, so the next man that we will look into is Moses. Moses encountered Lots of trial, yeah, didn't he? Which the main one is leading the, <laughs> there's just as I've mentioned, almost three million. Just imagine, uh, at the end, uh, huh, towards the 40, the, 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 the end of it it, it, it mounts up to almost three million Israelites. Imagine he's the only soul, one person, you know, leading this whole big group of, of men and women, children. And they are not easy uh, to lead. <laughs> he has suffered a lot, you know, uh, went through a lot uh, with them until he was so angry. <laughs> you know, you're so angry as we know the story. Yeah? And uh, so, yeah. And uh, so Moses, uh, yeah, many times, yeah, he has to deal with the ungrateful people and several times, and the day wanted to kill him. Why? Even kill his leader, their leader. Only one leader like this also want to kill. Yeah. And uh, so it got, because why? Because uh, there was no food in the desert, no water, ran out of food, no water. So Moses, why you took us out into this place to let us die? I mean, they just couldn't comprehend this. This is all God's work of saving them to deliver them from Egypt, slavery. They were, in, you know, yeah, slave, uh, they were slaves in Egypt, but yet they were complain. I will, they were so angry with Moses and say that in Egypt we have food, even though it's hard, but we, we, we have food to eat. <laughs> and now there is nothing, nothing. And then we know that God sent manna, right, in the desert and did miracles upon miracles. Can you just imagine? Let us just stop from here. I, I just can't imagine. God has done tremendous power his his work of miracle in the eyes they can see they can witness but yet wow i was thinking wow how could it happen yeah they can still mm, turn away from god they can still you know um not uh listening 
in uh, to to God and uh, and it, it basically they're just very stubborn they're stiff neck people that's why God says I give them up in their disobedience and rebellion um, so there was like no chance like <laughs> saving them <laughs> so anyway and uh, the third person the third man I like to us uh, uh, bring it up uh, is David David yeah King David David he has to be taken through also a process yeah as we know also a long process he was anointed by God long before he became king all right long before he was anointed by God already yeah to Samuel right and now uh, and God will take him through the refining process right God will have to take him through the refining process and until he became the man God has wanted him to be yeah because yeah so it will which it will happen to all of us as well like I said we will all as you know when we belong to God we are his sons and daughters you know he he has uh, he, he he will want to make us to be like him right you will have to come to the point like we will be the man the woman that God wants us to be that's in the making so in the making you have to go through the refining just like gold has to go through the refining process silver has to go through the refining process so are we so that is yeah that is what is yeah, happening because think about it if nothing happens to us if life is such a is all a bed of roses everything is all good well why do we need god <laughs> yeah we we have, we we have done it we have make it to our I mean, ourselves we have make it we can do anything you know so yeah and so therefore question is why does god allows us to go through trials what is the purpose of it yeah, we were asked, right? Why does God allow us to go through pain, to go through trials and our challenges? What is the purpose? Okay, let's see on the PowerPoint, please. Uh, number one, Psalm 6610. Do you have it? All right, okay. Well, we can read because it is quite small here. Uh, Psalm 6610. This is what? To test and prove our faith. Yeah? For and now Psalm sixty six ten for you God tested us you refined us like silver for God needs to know okay how genuine is our faith you know so how genuine is our faith and also a way to develop faith which is lacking in us too so it has to be tested yeah it has to be tested our faith and to prove our faith you know how. What does our faith, what is our faith like? And uh, so set number two is Proverbs 17, 3, to try our hearts. God wants to also test our hearts, yeah? Yeah. Is our heart, uh, okay, let's read. Proverbs 17, 3, the crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. So is our heart truly truly for God is it is it for him it's going through the refining process that's why it will be revealed of our hearts the condition when how is our heart like because God is really very concerned and he he what he you know it's the heart heart matter is so uh, you know that every one of us we look good on the outside, you know, but we really <laughs> don't know <laughs> how is the heart. <laughs> yeah, inside we don't know, right? Yeah, but the word of God did say, you know, the heart is deceitful, 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 eh? above all things. Yeah. Who could understand a heart, our heart? Yeah, so it, you is, yeah, so therefore God has to test and our heart. And to try our hearts, what is like, and uh, so number three we have James, one two to four. Okay, shall we read? Uh, 
consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Yeah? Yes, so this is a reason, right? We can see more and more reason coming up, yeah? It is to produce perseverance and maturity in us. Maturity. To put one's endurance and strength to the test. Right? To put one's endurance and strength to the test. So there is a purpose for it and why it's needed. Yeah? For life is full, it's full of adversity, amen, and struggle. Yeah, and uh, we 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 is full of it. A difficult, you know, and they say as adversity is that all the difficulty, the unpleasant situations, everything, and uh, but every challenge comes is an opportunity for us to learn, to change, to grow, and to improve. So that is another reason. Yeah, the reasons are coming up. More purpose. Why do we need to go through it? Yeah, so otherwise we will never change. We will never change. If nothing happens in our life, I can tell you 101%, I will never change. Yeah. For adversity, we learn to be a better person, right? It is to build and develop our faith, strength, endurance, and fortitude. Fortitude is courage. Yeah? This is all meant to make us to be a better person. It is to develop our faith, right? Because some may have, yeah, your faith is not there yet. It is meant to build and develop your faith, strength, you know, uh, endurance, fortitude, where we can show courage in the face of adversity. Yeah? In the face of adversity. So, let us look into more scriptures I'd like to show to you to see the positive effects it does on us. Number one, Romans 5, 3 to 5. Let us read these scriptures. They are really helping us. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Amen. So, and now there's another two more. Uh, Acts 14.22 uh, Strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Yes, so, well, there it goes. So it's not something strange, something that um, uh, what is happening to you and I when things happen that is not according to our favor, what, what is happening now, yeah. But God has a purpose behind it, all right. How challenges will make us stronger and more resilient, do you agree? When we go through some uh, difficulty, hardships, and now uh, uh, at that moment of time, uh, we will somehow, uh, with God's help, we will come through, yes. And when we come through of it, we realize, hey, I, I have changed inside something has changed inside me yeah um and it, you realize that you are stronger you are stronger than before and uh, you make more resilient to any changes in your you know that comes to you so and also number two leads us to uh, positive changes to develop important the qualities of our character uh, on diligence on purpose on humility. All this will be, yeah, you know, you know, God is doing it. Yeah, God is doing something yeah, in us to develop all these qualities of our character. All right? 
And number three, for self-development, there will be a change of perspectives, right? A change of mind shift. That means, yeah, our mind shift also will change. There will be a greater gratitude in you, uh, builds confidence and courage in us. Yes? Amen. Yeah. So you see, uh, so many things are happening. Uh. Wow. Now you, you don't really think about your problem already. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know some of you are still going, even at this time, going through some challenges. Yeah. But I... But just hold on there. God is with you. God is doing something good. God is going to turn around, turn around your situation for his glory, for his purpose. Amen. Amen. So it was through trials for myself. It was through trials I became a woman of greater faith. Now, it's about me now. I mean, just a little. I don't talk too much about me. Uh, well, if, if you want to know anything more, you can always, you know, come to me and I, I will gladly share with you what are the challenges that I've been through. I became a woman of greater faith, love, gratitude. I was stronger. I was more courageous and also much closer to God. This is what I found in me, yeah? When I went through, after I come out through all those trials, what have I learned? What have I changed into? I mean, the transformation has to take place, right? So if, if not, then you will be the 40 years. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> oh, thank God I don't need to go through that 40 years. <laughs> so I have gone through much with very, so I'm very familiar with pain. Talk about physical pain, emotional pain, whatever, or anything to do with pain, I'm very familiar. Eh? It's my life, my testimony, and uh, what God has done in me. I'm a totally different person from the, the day when, um, before I know Christ and the day I receive Christ, and until now, it's like, how long have I, uh, I think it's coming to 40 years. I've seen 40 years now, wow. 40 <laughs> years. <laughs> Am I that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, so those days gone already, <laughs> but anyway, thankfully, those days was difficult, and I really thank God, yes, indeed, I thank God, they're gone, and now I'm enjoying the, 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 the time, the fruits, the reward, you know, it, okay, now I'm going to sidetrack a bit, <laughs> the talking about this, you know, I have always been Dreaming, dreaming means that in my nights I dream. I always dream of baby, birthing a baby, baby, yeah. So and I'm uh, very, very curious. Why is it that I always come to my dream, baby? Then I begin to search, yeah, the meaning, yeah, the symbol. What is it behind? What is God telling me in the dream? So, babies. Is actually birthing, yeah? You talk about birthing, right? Birthing. Birthing into God's plan and a birthing into what God has for you. Uh, you know, it's going to come to be birthed and come to pass. So the thing I was holding on for many years, I mean for this church, you know, I'm talking about church. Uh, hold, I mean, uh, carrying it, carrying it, carrying it. And uh, the Lord, always, you know, it was just like telling me in the dream, it's going to be birthing time birthing of all that you've been carrying inside all these years for the church. So I, and um, yeah, so I, I was like a baby recently, even Eugene also dreamt the same dream as me. <laughs> also, she dreamt that I was pregnant with a baby. <laughs> Seven to eight months, you know, but it was funny. It says, the, then the doctor says that this baby is not going to make it. And you know what? Eugene was like, he saw me, oh, so sad. He went to hold my belly and listen to the belly and say, hey, the baby is kicking away. <laughs> so he should be all right. <laughs> you see, <clears throat> I see some spiritual significance, some things, you know, that there, you know, it could be, you know, that <clears throat> the enemy will always try to tell you, you're not, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. 
you are not good. Uh, you know, you, you, um, you are not good enough, and now uh, you are, you know, uh, you, you still need to go through many, many things. Uh, and uh, so, <clears throat> just let me bring back my thoughts. And so therefore, um, yeah, so as I was saying that I've gone through, I remember very familiar with pain, so that I, why God allows that, why? Because so that when I understand what pain is all about, I can minister better to those who are in that situation. I will understand the pain of others and to minister to them, yeah. So do you realize now um, and see the goodness out of it? Do you realize, yeah? What, what there is a one word that says, uh, what? Well, through pain, we gain, right? We gain. And uh, the, they, they like to say, uh, no pain, no gain, <laughs> yes? And, uh, but this is true. Through pain, we gain, yeah? Uh, without which, we we could um, we would continue to remain who we are, our ugly self, our ugly self. Yeah, I would hate it myself too. I would hate it as much as God does. I wouldn't want to be my who I was before I came to know Christ. Never, I wouldn't want anything to do with that. So, see that. There will be the change that comes. Let me ask, do you think that God who is love, we know God is love, right? He delight in breaking us? Oh, <laughs> Does he delight in breaking us to see us suffer? You know, this is my question. I mean, just think about it. God who is love, do you think that... Um, you know, he, he's, you know, that is, when he sees us suffer, yeah, he, 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 he doesn't feel anything for us. He's, he, you know. So, do you know God weeps for you? Yes, he cries for you. Do you know that? When your heart breaks, when he sees you, yeah, in, in your suffering, when he sees you in your suffering, it breaks God's heart, you know. You must know who God is. Yeah, we might know. Remember the footprints, the single footprints in the sand. That's yeah. You remember that's little yeah. Uh, the uh, what you call that the court or the you know, when you are overwhelmed with troubles in life, what does God do? Huh? You know, one day the man was walking on the beach and there were, he was very happy. The Lord was walking with him, two, foot, two sets of footprints, yeah. And then suddenly when he was having trouble, he faced uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, trials and challenges. And uh, so suddenly he looked at the sand and said, hey, why is only one, only his own set of footprints? He said, God, you have left me when I needed you most. But no, God says what? He says, that's the time when I carried you. I lifted you on my back so that it would not be so tough for you to go through it. It's helping us to lessen that burden that we are carrying. That is who God is. So does the answer is no. He, 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 when you hurt, he hurts too. It's not that he, he, he's like a tyrant, you know. It's not like a tyrant that he says that, mm, you, know, <laughs> you know, and uh, you've done this, you've done this, you deserve this, you know. And, uh, and <sighs> Because if God is a tyrant, he would have wiped us all out in the beginning of times. Why would he need to send his son Jesus to suffer such an excruciating death on earth? No need. So easy. Solve the problem. 
<laughs> and I wonder why God didn't do that. <laughs> but in a way, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I the only question I always feel that very heavy. I mean, in my heart when it comes to taking communion or it, or it's on the uh, Good Friday, you know, I always have this question: Why God? Why not? You have to die for us. Why? Not that I don't know, but it's just that you you. Why? We don't deserve you. We don't. You had to die such a painful death. Why? I mean, we are not that good, you know. <laughs> None of us. As the Bible says, no one is good, no one is righteous, right? No one. Yeah. So when you come to know God's love, yeah, it's, uh, it will change you. It will change you. After today's message, I hope that you will see trials in a very different light. Yeah, uh, you you will see trials when uh, all these uh, troubles and uh, all the challenges in life that you will begin to see it in a different light. Yeah, I will say, what to do? Embrace it with courage. Embrace it when it comes. I know it's hard, yeah. It's never easy. Never. It's tough, tough, tough. Yeah. Uh, but embrace it with courage. Know who your God is and his plans, his purpose. And let and that uh, you are in God's perfect will. That means to say, no, nothing that out of God doesn't God didn't know what you you know happened to you. No, no. You you are in God's perfect plan. His perfect will for the better you and I of whom God wants us to be. Yes? Amen? Life is about endurance. Yeah? Endurance. That's why we, that's why um, when storm comes, storm comes and it should, yeah? Yes, we know it will. Yeah? So we can stand firm and unshakable with this unshakable faith, right? To weather it through. Yeah. That fortitude will is being built in us. Fortitude, yeah, courage, strength, endurance, yeah, is being built in us. Just as in the story, I like to end with this story. Just as in, as in the story of Jesus in the storm. His disciples encountered the storm. In the boat, while in the boat, remember? The storm, the face, as they were, they were going to go to the other side of the lake, suddenly the storm comes, and uh, Jesus was asleep in the <laughs> yeah, boat, and uh, the disciples were panicky. It was it is in Luke 8, if you want to know the story, Luke 8, 22 to 25. So Jesus rose up, and uh, he rebuked and calmed the storm, yeah? And he turned to the disciples and said what? Very good. <laughs> Where is your faith? Is another word, man of little faith. So do you see it? How faith is connected with through trials, through our trials and challenges. God is building something up, something in us. Otherwise, that is lacking. And so, where is your faith? Praise the Lord. Thank you. Yes. Let's just uh, pray. Yeah. Shall we um, rise up at this moment? Shall we just look to the Lord in prayer? By the way, just now during the worship, I think the song, which one was said, that break, uh, uh, spirit break up. Yeah. Just now, when I, and I, uh, yeah, I felt that electrifying. Oh, wonderful. God, you know, the anointing, the presence. You know, when we are yielded to Him in worship, you many you can experience all this, yeah. And uh, that the when you so when it is beautiful, it's beautiful. Yeah, praise the Lord, worship team. Yeah, I'm so glad that uh, yeah that you know we 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 have such a you know the 
anointed your worship team. Let's give them a hand. You know, I go. So, you know, so we're so blessed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, you can, yeah, play some music and um, you have some. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of God, Spirit of God, you encourage your God. 